the goal is to initially provide early clinical data on the use of this cell therapy that we previously developed, taken into the clinic to treat brain cancer patients, but more importantly, develop that whole platform technology to actually expand it to treat other cancers as well. In our previous studies, we were using these immune cells that were taken out of the patients and in, trained in, in the laboratory and then taken back into the patients. What we have done now is actually we have developed a, a so-called next-gen CMB T-cell therapy where now we manufacture these cells from healthy volunteers. So this funding will allow us to run a, a phase one clinical trial to test the safety and potential some degree of efficacy of these immune cells, which is off the shelf. Hopefully these cells will be more supercharged compared to the patient-drive cells and will give us a better chance of delivering a more effective therapy to the brain cancer patients. The next step beyond that is to actually then make these cells super armed with another sort of vector molecule which we're calling is a chimeric antigen receptor. We wanted to see if uh, the cells that, that we've engineered are able to actually attack uh, glioblastoma actually from, from the patient. We've incubated them with the chimeric antigen receptor T cells, the CAR T cells, which are these armored immune cells. What happens is the, the spheres actually turn green and that is an indication uh, that the, the CAR T cells are actually killing the neurospheres. And you can see in this, up, in, in this corner over here, um, it actually completely disintegrates. The immune cells are actually completely destroying it, disintegrating the, the, the tumor. It's in the preclinical stage at the moment, um, but the results look amazing. We're really are hoping that it, that it is a cure. Our goal is to have the chimeric antigen superarm T cells ready by middle or the late next year. And if we can get funding, we should be in the clinic within the next 12 to 18 months. Craig was diagnosed with a glioblastoma multiform in May 2012 and then February 2020, Craig passed. Craig used to describe it as, it's like a gun in my head and will it go off today? As a researcher, you don't know if, if your work's actually gonna make it anywhere. Um, and getting this close in this short of bit of time, for me, it's, 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 it's a big deal. We know that there are other cancers which are also targetable with these chimeric antigen receptors, include prostate cancer, lung cancer, and even some of the other ones like testis cancer, and some of the sarcomas are also targetable. For a clinical program like this to go to the stage of becoming a real product that be available to the patient, it requires huge investment of you know, hundreds of millions of dollars. Brain cancer, always say, is not one of the popular cancers, but look what happens when people invest in breast cancer. Look at the survival rates now. And for that purpose, do this treatment to become reality, we have to attract industry investment. I do believe at some point we're going to find a cure for this disease, but we need people to invest to do that. We own the intellectual property over this. We control everything from start to end. And, and having that capability within um, our institute, but on top of that, our institute has capability to manufacture these cells as well, which is in Cugin Cell Therapeutics. So you couldn't get a more complete, comprehensive accessibility of technology, intellectual know-how and manufacturing capability. It's hugely exciting.